Welcome. Today we are preparing a cheese-topped slow cooker meatloaf and a complete list of ingredients is at the end of the video. So we'll start by preparing the slow cooker. I have here three sheets of foil about two feet long. Simply fold them to make strips three times. I am simply placing the strips in the bottom. I'll start by making a cross and the last one diagonally. This way I will be able to lift the meatloaf when it's ready. I'll go get a bowl and we'll get started. So we'll mix the ingredients together starting with a grated onion, some tomato paste, two eggs, Start mixing this together. I'm just using a fork. It's enough to blend everything. Salt and pepper. And today I'm adding chili powder and some dried herbs. Right. Some milk. And this is quick cooking oats. It'll bind everything together and make it delicious. Last but not least, ground beef. I'm using lean ground beef. You can use a mix if you'd like. You can start shaping a ball right inside your bowl and we'll transfer directly in to our slow cooker and then shape the loaf. All right, and you can set this on high for three to four hours or on low for six to eight hours. After a couple of hours of cooking, thermometers should read at least 165 Fahrenheit or 74 Celsius. The last thing to do, add some cheese. This is Canadian Swiss cheese. If you have your favorite cheddar on hand or provolone or even Navardi cheese, by all means use it, cover it, five to 10 minutes, the cheese will melt and will be ready to taste. That smells wonderful and it looks great. Just lift the meatloaf. Place it on your cutting board. And we're ready to simply lift it off the paper. And simply arrange the slices into a nice platter. A little butter on the vegetables. And we're ready to bring it to the table. Mmm, it's really delicious. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. 